comparing other streams of civil engineering pre engineered buildings or just one of the category right but why are we seeing this particular term everywhere like uh, say for example on a linkedin post youtube a google search and what makes pb so special let's dig deeper as a steel design engineer with my experience for the past 7 years i can confidently convey that the volume of steel buildings are getting increased year by year uh, you can ask me like uh, where is the data <laughs> i don't have any for this one like i am the data and this purely out of my experience say for example uh, before 7 years when i was starting my career i used to work on around 2 uh, to 3 projects per month that is the maximum but now the number got up to like 3 uh, to 4 times per month and trust me that's really a huge in a civil engineering background said that what would be the reason behind it let's unravel it to move down strategically i will explain this in two sub parts one is based on the industry growth and the second one based on the career opportunity and demand for pb engineers moving to the first part industry growth the global pre engineered building market is forecasted to have a market value of 45.03 billion usd by 2009 2029 and the market cap for indian pv market is going to be around 50.72 billion us dollars for your information these are not like a, a cooked up data they are legit and i have attached the sources for these values in the description please do check it out and from these values like uh, you can imagine what is the actual growth which is happening in pv industry and moreover so like yeah a growth is happening what does these things mean to a common civil or structural engineer so being located in india and being in the stream of civil engineering the most important thing a graduate or an experienced civil engineer should think about is their future in this industry since there is going to be a great opportunities in pv for the upcoming years having pb design or estimation as an additional skill is a add on value that you or your fellow engineer is going to bring to the table which might give you a new job opportunity or an opportunity to grow in your current workplace and this leads to our second part so we have seen the huge growth in the industry so we don't have any doubt that this pb industry is going to bloom in the upcoming years and moving to the next part career opportunity and demand considering the current growth in the sector obviously this is going to take up more resources as well to talk about the career opportunities in pb there are various positions from estimation till direction and to name some of them say like a pb estimation engineer a pb design engineer a pb detailing engineers fabrication engineers sales engineers erection engineers the burgeoning pb market is creating a significant demand for skilled professionals across these various roles this is evident in the increasing number of job postings in platforms like linkedin and indeed specifically mentioning pb design expertise you don't believe me right check it out for yourself let's uh, move to the indeed platform and uh, let's search pb and we are seeing around wow it's uh, two not four jobs listed and these huge openings make me further more curious that what might be the reason behind it to explain it a uh, pb actually creates a niche skill set which is like uh, it is not readily available with every graduate engineers it requires a specific understanding of each components and their interactions for example how bracings like uh, transfer wind force effectively if you would like to know further on this topic you can check out my video on bracing in the description so like uh, coming back to the topic and uh, finally one must have a good understanding of the manufacturing and direction process of pb to work out an effective and efficient design the problem is that these skills are not taught in our curriculum and uh, considering all this say like uh, there is going to be a huge growth as well as like uh, there are lots and lots of openings for a pb expertise and uh, there is no way that any civil engineer like turn down an opportunity to learn pb design hope you find your answer for the question why every civil engineer must learn pb design it's obviously because of the industry where it is leading and the upcoming career openings in the pb sector pb expertise is like a must add on skill for any civil engineer in the near future 
the next most important question i get on uh, social media platforms is that where do i learn pap design like uh, or is there any legit source for it and i will be talking more about this in the upcoming videos meanwhile do check out my other playlist as well and catch you soon until then it's bye from parshit jain